No, I don't know what you're on about. Okay? I have given you all the styles that I know in the book. In bed! Wait, what are you... We, we make love every day. What do you have to show for it? I, I don't understand you. What are you even talking about? Style, 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 style. So it's just best styles that you need to make babies. Is that what you think? But we've, we've been having sex. And so? Listen, let me warn you. If your mother is going to keep blaming me for our delay in childbirth, then I am going to stop visiting her. Then who then is to blame? Give me a child. I need a child. Give you a child. What are you talking about? Hi. New Hi. occupant Hi. of this apartment. My name is Ronald. Ronald Badness, CEO of Band Oil and Gas Company. I'm positive. Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Huh? I'd like um, for you to meet my wife, Loretta. Hey, it's my pleasure. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living? Mm, okay. Babe. <laughs> I don't mind my wife. <laughs> she gets that way sometimes. She likes to know everything. Thing, it's huh? fine. <laughs> Actually, I'm still a student. student. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, my brother pays for this place. He stays abroad. Uh, oh, oh okay. I see. I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Please um, be comfortable. It's a pretty nice place, as you can see. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. And if you need anything, don't don't hesitate to ask us. Yeah, let us know. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name again? Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Pleasure. Yeah, we'll see you around, huh? Thank you. All right now. You're welcome. You and I are going to have this conversation. There is no point to it. We're not going to have it. Can we stop talking about this already? We cannot stop talking about it. Your mother keeps blaming me like it's my fault. So whose fault is it? Are you asking me? Yes, I'm asking you. Whose fault is it? As far as I am concerned, I am very, very fine. So maybe you should go to the hospital and get checked. What are you insinuating? All I said is that I am very, very fine. There is nothing wrong with me. So you're suggesting that I'm not fine? Go to the hospital and get checked. Listen, if there's anyone who needs to be checked up, that would be you, not me. Why should women be blamed all the time for childlessness? Because women are the ones who do all kinds of nasty things and get their womb ruined because they get involved in abortions and stuff that can spoil your chances of getting pregnant, that's why. Really? Yes! Well, like, what if you're the one that is infertile? Hello. What if you're the infertile? Hey. Neighbor. Hi. 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 Um, yeah, um, hi. You're welcome. Yes. Um. Yes. <laughs> um. Um. How long have you been standing there? No, I just walked in, like right now. Oh, oh okay. Right, you. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's ah, that's sorry. Right. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering uh, if I could get some salt. I need to oh, oh, yeah, salt, salt. Oh, yes, yeah, salt, salt, salt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah, please. Um, sit down. Yeah, please. Okay, thank you. No, 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 it's fine. Sit. I insist, I insist, I insist, I insist. Please sit, 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 sit. Go ahead, sit. No, seriously, sit. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Um, this is it. You can have the whole pack of Sanger. Oh, no, of course, of course. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I want us to want something, please. Do not hesitate to share. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, I guess I left the door open. Yeah. Bye. This is not over, right? This is not over. Look at you. This is not over. Look at you. You're just, you, you, you're just, just an what? ignorant man. Like you need schooling. People look at you and they think that, oh really, this is a man with knowledge. Well, you don't know anything. You don't know nothing. Ah. Yes. Really? Yes. You see yourself. Mm. Just don't forget to get tested. You see yourself. Don't forget to get tested. Nonsense. Keep dealing with your mother, and then I come back here, I will have peace. Does it have to be me all the time? What makes you think I'm the one that 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 that, 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 that is barren? Go check yourself because I'm fine. Nonsense. Wash. I can't believe this is stop. I can't even take it again. He's exactly my type. Oh! <laughs> of course he's married. Who cares? It's like you didn't hear when I said he's CEO of an oil and gas company. 
Don't you know what that means? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, this one a big fish, oh. Hey, and my net is so going to catch it. Mm -hmm. You know I prefer married men, Jeff. Eh? You know I prefer them to all these broke ass young guys that are always looking for whose life to destroy. Eh? Look, babe. All that concerns me is that this guy is loaded. Like he money they threw away, and his wife will not stop me from offloading him. Ah, uh -uh. guy way too fine. Constant get money join now. What are you talking about? I mean, babe, leave that thing. I don't collect with that. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, no time to waste though. No time to waste. I don't start my plans already. Yes! I'm already carrying out my plans. And you know the good thing? He said I can always come to meet them if I need anything. Can you beat that? Uh -uh. Clear away with that for me now. <laughs> I beg you, leave that thing. Nobody if you pour me acid. And all rich, and all fit. This is Amanda, don't forget me. Oh. Don't forget who I be. Oh. <laughs> Babe, I'll call you later, eh? I want to do something. I'll call you. I'll call you. All right, bye. Yeah, I'm coming. Hey, you! Come, 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 come. How, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great. Oh, um, can I get some seasoning? It's in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, top oh. drawer to your left. Wow. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. I need some seasoning cubes, please. Of course, why not? I have lots of them. I can give you a handful. Oh yeah, so here, yeah. You can have all that. Thank you. Um, hey. Did you see my husband in the living room? Yeah. And he saw you dressed like this? Thanks for the cubes. Hey, hey, hey. A married man lives in this house. So please, have it at the back of your mind when next you're choosing what to wear. Okay? Kitchen. Yes, I am actually cooking something, something to eat. Really? Yeah. What about Loretta? Well, she's out of time. She wants to see her, her parents. Um, so I'm all by myself the whole weekend and I'm trying to stop. <laughs> hmm. So, you can cook? Yeah, I, I, I can cook. As a matter of fact, I cook better than my wife. <sighs> Don't tell her, I go. <laughs> oh my god right. you know i'm so ashamed right now because i mean look at you a man mm. Mm. you can cook while i as a lady i'm just trying to learn i i could teach you <laughs> <laughs> well oh, oh. What? Sorry, I actually came to get some curry in time, but um, maybe you can just get it for me. Or you can go to my place so you can teach me how to make chocolate fries because I was trying to make that for the king. 
Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it'll be fun. Uh, you bet. Right, <laughs> but you see, I I already had a few things going on. I made it just. Um, you can just come with me now. No, wow. <laughs> I can't come. I have to drop this. I have to. <laughs> you know, I think the gas cooker is on. I'm boiling something. I can come help you finish up. Uh, you, you want to help? Uh, I, I yes. mean, I I could do it while while you wait. Or you, okay, I'll just do wait. it together. I'll, I'll just wait. You sure? Yes. How about you come with me? <laughs> I'll just wait. Go on. You want to wait, huh? I'll be here. You'll be here. Uh huh. Oh, okay. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. I'll be right. I'll be back. Just to be here. Wait. Nice. Wait for me. <laughs> okay. Alright. You see that the trick here is really simple, alright? So we're boiling the rice right now. Um, you can see it's really steaming. So after the boiling, of course, you wash the first time and then. It goes in the second time. But now the thing a lot of people, what a lot of people don't know about spice, is that when you put it too early, you cook it. Right? The nutrient is supposed to be alive. Then you now begin to cut the onions and all that you prep. So it goes in or well, it goes yeah. in, yeah. So it goes in um, you know, not too early, but also not too late, so that it doesn't come up. Hey. What's that for? I know you want to cook right now, but if you go to the bedroom, you cook something else. Come on, I know. I've had a lot of time with this. Come on, it's just to remind me of you. Right. I don't have this smell now. Mm. For business, Damn. and mind you, the higher the amount, the more the pleasure. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You just hold it. Uh, uh, one sec. You have a condom here? Oh come on! Huh? Are you sure? Are you are you are you sure? Are you Damn! Oh shit! Did you enjoy it? Mm-hmm. I did. You know, sex with my wife these days have become a routine. Yeah. Hmm. Like a chore that we must do. We'll fight every day. We fight. During the day, argue about almost everything. And at night, I have to get it up for us to make love because we're trying to have a child. 
You know, to be honest, this is the very first time in a long time that I've enjoyed having sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, I enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. You can call me whenever you want me. <laughs> sure thing. You know my wife cannot know about this. <laughs> Not when I have such fat amounts in my account. <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, I need to go. Go where? Home to my apartment. <laughs> You're talking like you live in another part of Lagos. I mean, your house is just next door, and your wife is not even around, so we have all the time to ourselves. You're trying to wear me out. Mm -hmm. You're trying to wear me out. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Ronald, what? I called you over an hour ago and you just called me. My wife was around when you called me. I had to wait for her to leave the house before coming and that's how it works. You don't just call me and I show up here. It does not work that way. What is it? Here's the reason. Why are you, why are you handing me an envelope? What? Oh, so you are shocked now? <laughs> when you were digging and firing and rocking me, what were you expecting? Are you, are you? Are you? This is your pregnant. Exactly what I said. Are you pregnant? Are you expecting a child from me? <laughs> Look, Ronald, I do not know what's good on your head right now. But I sure hope it's not what I'm thinking. Because I, Amanda, I will not afford this baby. I won't. Just know that. You don't know what this means to me. You don't know what you've done for me. You're pregnant. So I'm not sterile after all. <sighs> oh. So, what now? You want this baby? Of course. You're going to have this baby. Okay? You are keeping it. <laughs> you know what? Ah, story for another day. You won't understand. You won't understand what you've done for me. But hey, um, now that you're pregnant, all right, I, I'm thinking that we'll have a plan. Okay, I'm thinking that I'm, um, you know, just so that you're comfortable and then give birth easily and you just have the best times as a pregnant woman who's expecting that I relocate you. Yes, it will be good. I don't understand. Relocate me where? And why? Should I think you're here carrying my child, my wife is next door. That would be nice. That you should leave. What? Come on now, huh? This is the blessing. Let's be wise. Huh? You carry my child living in this apartment when I just stay there with my wife. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna be nice. 
So God be safe for you or the baby. Even my man. You run and I beg. What? I beg. I know if you shout. I know if you shout. If anybody go lead this company, Loretta, not be me. My babe, calm down ah. now. It hasn't come to that. Said, don't scream. You know, you're carrying, you're expecting. Uh, look, I promise to make life very comfortable for you. If you just let me go ahead with this plan and relocate you somewhere else. Trust me. Mm -mm. No. On, no. Please, mm -mm. baby. You, you... No! Baby, please. You just have to think of something else, Ronald. You have to. I'm already thinking. And I'm promising to make your life very comfortable. Wow, please. Hmm. You need to see how excited you are when I said you're used to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Mo. Baba was glad to be expected to see you. See, I've told him all. I have told him I am not leaving this compound. It is either he chooses his fruitless marriage or his unborn child. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I beg you, leave risky. It will be risky. Are you Bobby risky? <laughs> <laughs> See, let me tell you, eh? I have the upper hand here, and I have only just started. Yes, I have just started though. Ronald must divorce that his so-called wife and marry me. I will make sure he does that. I will make sure he does that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you think I'm joking, Abby? You think I'm joking? Okay, now, just watch and see. Hmm? It's when I bring you my wedding ivy, you will know I'm not joking. You will know I'm serious. At that time, you will know what's up. <laughs> Forget! <laughs> See, I'm a sharp girl. I'm a sharp girl. And I always get what I want. And this time, it is Ronald. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> These days, girls are not smiling, you know. If you don't hold your husband tight, we will hold him for you. Marry you? How? Listen, that's not what I'm expecting, but no, that's not what I'm saying. But I wasn't expecting you to bring marriage up. I, 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 Amanda, can you just tell me exactly what you want? You know what? Name a price. Name a price. Whatever it is at all, I, I'm willing to pay. What's your price? Bye. Who was that? Hmm? Why are you all woke up? Who are you talking to? Some client that won't just get off my back. Oh. That's fine, you need to take it easy, okay? So I'll just go freshen up and then we get to business. Hey, hey, what, what business? Maybe making business. I'm not interested in any business transaction. I, I'm tired of You're tired of what? I'm tired. Wait, wait, hold on. You think I actually want to make all of to you? Is that what you think? Like, you think I really want to do this to enjoy it? Seriously, you know what I want, and you will give it to me. I'm tired. What do you mean you're tired? I'm weak. Weak how? Better get strong, anyhow you want it. I am going in there to freshen up. It's and by the time I am back, make sure you're ready for me. Because you're going to give me what I want. If not, if you go out there on the street, I will not meet you there on the street. I will get down to business right there. Uh, 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 um, I'm... You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're going anywhere now. You're going anywhere now. You're going anywhere. That's not possible. You I'm tired. Give it to... You're tired what? Don't even annoy me right now. Just, just give me what I want and you can go to the street if you want. What's that one now? Please don't start off. Or you want me to just start? Let me, we can do it right now. I don't even have to freshen up. People need to run away. Yes, let's start now. No, 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 no. no. Why would you freshen up? Uh, I can uh, freshen up. You have to freshen up. Because you freshened up, eh? So I must freshen up. Uh. I will lock the door. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Hey. 
Are you okay? What's the problem? What's, what's going on? I mean, I, I, you, you caught me panicked. Talk to me. What, what, what's happening? Is there something I can do for you? You made me want to eat your full of rice. I don't understand. I said you made me want to eat your full No, stop. I, 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 I heard you the first time. I'm just trying to make sense of what you have just vomited. Do you realize that I was in the middle? <laughs> Amanda, I was in the middle of an important meeting when your call came through. You told me that you have an emergency, that you need me here. I don't see the emergency right now. Oh, so, so this, this isn't an emergency. Hey, Ronald, this is an emergency. Your baby hasn't eaten since morning. This morning, you told me this is not an emergency. Ha. Huh. Amanda, your baby bump isn't even showing yet, and you're holding the world to a standstill. Why are you like this? You can't even get up to go make yourself something that you are going to eat. Why are you so lazy? Lazy? Oh, yeah, of course you're lazy. But no, you call me lazy. Do you know how it feels to, to carry a whole human in your tummy? Drama. Ah, uh, going back to work. I'm, I don't have time for this, really. I'm just gonna abort this baby. Hey, don't, hey. This baby, I can't do this anymore. Hey, don't, don't say that. Come on. You said jollof rice, right? Ah, small thing. I'll do it now. Ah, kids. Uh, with what? Turkey. Tur